Hi there, this is Vinod from TechWiser.com and in a previous video we showed you how you can transcribe any video automatically using Google Docs. It works, but guess what, there's even a better app in town. It's free, works on both Android and iOS and best of all, it scored 95% in our accuracy test. Yes, you can always get 100% accuracy if you pay for applications like Rev, but then you will have to pay as much as $1 per minute. But in case of our application, it's completely free. So let's check it out. Open up the application and log in with your email. Obviously, since you are going to use it as a voice recorder, you will have to give it all the necessary permission. Now to record anything, simply hit the red record button in the center and start dictating. A quick brown box jumps over a lazy dog. Once you are done, tap on the stop button. Now if you are satisfied, you can tap on save or just discard it if you want to start over and then it will send you the transcription in the email. Don't worry, according to their privacy policy, they will not use or sell your information to any third party advertisement. So far, it's pretty good. Now let's put it to test. Okay, so I will place it right next to me and turn it on. Now, if you're a student who wants to record a lecture or maybe a journalist who wants to transcribe an interview, then this kind of arrangement will help. And as you can see, the app is pretty accurate. Though, if you notice, the voice to text isn't exactly real time. This is because it usually uses the AI from its server, but still, it's pretty fast. Or say if you want to transcribe any YouTube video or a video that's stored on your computer, then just place your phone next to your computer speaker. You may want to minimize the background noise, but it's not necessary. And then start recording. For the product and services that can be easily done by machines. But guess what, you don't need to do any of that. Right now I'm using the same workaround to automatically generate captions in this video. And as you can see, the results are pretty accurate, right? And yes, like always, this method is also free and works on every platform. Interesting, even for a non-US accent, it works flawlessly. Now let's see how it works for US accent. So let's play this video from TED Talks. Good morning. How are you? It's been great, hasn't it? It's been, I've been blown away by the whole thing. In fact, I'm leaving. It did nothing when the audience was clapping or even if there is a background music, which is pretty cool. It can even pick up the question mark if the speaker asks a question or a comma if there is a pause. Now let's see what else can it do. Uh, <laughs> um, there have been three themes, haven't there, running through the conference, uh, which are re relevant to what I want to talk about. One is the extraordinary evidence of human creativity in all of the presentations that we've had and, and in all the people here. Uh, just the, you know, the variety of it and the range of it. Uh, the second is that it's put us in a place where we have no idea what's going to happen uh, in terms of the future. No idea how this may play out. Uh, I have an interest in education. Uh, well, that was quite fast. If you notice, it not only understood the context of a sentences, but it also corrected the grammar and spelling mistake after the word was processed. That's pretty cool. So if you have a lot of video interviews line up in your hard drive, that shouldn't be a problem. Now let's see how well it performed on non-English content. Let's try Spanish. Y ojo que cambia a conceptos históricos del iPhone y vamos a ver si merece la pena o no a continuación. Comenzamos. Oops, not even a single word, but that's expected. What if we try something else, like a guy who is speaking fast? And lately, minute rice. Slice the green peppers, use them with your minute rice from a vera pie or a pilaf. Chop a chicken for catch a tortoise. Slice the steaks for stroganoff. Plain, I personally prefer playing with the pats. I just use the rice for minute rice. Okay, not the best, but still quite accurate for the free service. Nonetheless, I'm very impressed with this application. Overall, this application is best when you want to record a real-time audio. It would have been awesome if it can also import an audio file from other application and then transcribe it. But maybe in future, I will pay for that. In a nutshell, it's a great application if you're a YouTuber who wants to transcribe his YouTube video or maybe a journalist or student who wants to record lectures and interview. This app has proven to be a wonderful refreshment, especially when you don't get to see something innovative. I really like this application. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, it's Pranal signing off. I will see you in the next one.